Oh my god. <laughs> well, like uh so here, this is Oh yes. This is what I was about to pull up before I fucked up our uh, audio. Okay. It's a message from a gorilla and we were contemplating what does that mean? Cuz well that doesn't really mean much, but <laughs> But here it is. I'll read it as it goes, because otherwise you can't see it. So if you have, if you've ever heard of Coco the talking gorilla, this is her. I'll tell you a little so bit wait, about her. Wait, is she her. the one that had the um, the kitten, or is that someone else? I think Coco might have had a kitten, yeah. And she also had like her own like baby gorillas that she took care of and stuff. Oh. But Coco is basic. She's like one of the most studied gorillas. She is a, a gorilla who learns sign language. So and by studied, I mean like she basically grew up and spent most of her life in a laboratory in a neuroscience lab. Uh, being taught sign language and being excuse me, like evaluated and investigated for you know all of her cognitive abilities and trying to like learn all this about her she was alive from 1971 to 2018 Holy. that's a old gorilla like had a long life and so you got to think this is like this gorilla is older than me literally when it died older than us older than most of the people uh like half the planet Honestly, practically this like 50 years old should have been allowed to vote I think this gorilla would make a better political decision than most (laughs) voters today. And actually, I think that this video is indicative of that. I'll read it because it's like captioned because the gorilla can't talk. Uh, it's gonna make me sad <laughs> no i think it's kind of a happy message but we'll 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 see there is a sadder i've seen a sad one but she she says this uh the, the caption of this video says this v- was coco's last words and message before sadly padding away and the fact that the padding yeah, away sh- so the fact that the person who made the video didn't even spell passing away correct gives me okay a little bit of caution for the authenticity. i've been staring at this for like a decent Padding amount of time didn't... and i did not register that it didn't say passing <laughs> like, didn't even register rough yeah yeah see your brain will do that that's actually like a whole other brain thing like you'll read through yeah, that but so here's what it says coco's message this was like the last thing before she died it said coco sorry coco cry okay why time hurry fix earth <gasps> help earth oh my god hurry protect earth nature nature see you oh thank you that's what she had to say how about that that's That's a message heartbreaking all of those humans out there that can't figure it out is it it's it's sad that's how she felt early work (laughs) (laughs) that was a joke just for me um (laughs) Yeah, that's uh, that's really sad. Like, it's not sad. It just makes me sad just because of, you know, the current state of the world. Exactly. So, I mean, she died in 2018. Could you imagine if she was alive today? Oh, what, would, what would she have to say today? <laughs> just nothing. She, She's done with us already. <laughs> like, yeah. What was, wait, what was the other gorilla, though? Harambe. Yes. That, was a, that one had a bad, bad go, too, didn't he? Harambe had a rough go. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, now she's R.I.P. All these gorillas and, like, these smart gorillas, like, the, you know, know what's going on. So, I don't know her message, but the thing is, here's what I was not sure but about. But does she have the awareness to know, like, what that means? I guess. For I, Coco, like, it seems like it. Yeah, she had, she had a good high level of, like, actual, like, she knew how to articulate herself. Like, she could have full conversations what? with the trainers in sign language, right? Like, they could talk about stuff. Wow. But the thing is about this video, I'm not even. I don't even know if like that was her last words because like the padding away. First of all, this could have just been someone who captioned this video, so she might be saying something else <laughs> entirely. Yeah, <laughs> she she's telling have. us to all just go fuck ourselves. That like... literally might be it because I don't speak sign language. I got to get an interpreter <laughs> I'll in speak here now. Sign language. Maybe actually, I do have a friend who does. Okay. I've just committed this now. Next episode, I'm going to follow up. I'm going to get a friend to interpret her sign language and see if this is accurate Oh, there we go. Fact check it. This is amazing. I'm so excited for this right now. So, okay. <laughs> next, <laughs> next episode, I'm going to comment back on that. Because otherwise, it's like somebody could have just captioned that over. But still magnificent. A gorilla who knows sign language who can communicate. That's true. That's a fact. Yeah. That's wild here's an example one that always fascinated me you actually will learn about coco a lot if you take like a first year neuroscience course or a lot of <laughs> certain psychology courses yeah, and stuff, which i gotta bring future. it in i gotta bring that in so Just bring up the fact that i didn't <laughs> study neuroscience fuck yeah everyone who didn't study neuroscience, sorry i got my general like, arts degree doing? okay <laughs> <laughs> that ga yeah that g-g-a uh well the doctor what he has to say is that <laughs> 
Sorry. Uh, Coco. No, no. <laughs> she on. actually, okay, so she was so smart. When we we're talking about awareness, she actually learned to, uh, she made up her own words, basically. Okay, wait. Question. Yeah. So yeah. isn't it something that sets humans apart, though, is that we are aware of our own existence or something about, like, our ability to, like, self-reflect or something like being yes. aware of our own yeah like, yeah definitely to stuff. a certain degree like that's basically to a lot of people what makes people conscious is that basically or what people like suggest defines consciousness is yeah like your level of self-awareness so the more aware you are the more conscious you are to that end certain animals exhibit some degrees of consciousness and in, in fact you know some would argue oh, anything living would exhibit some degree of consciousness in by virtue of the amount of awareness that they do right. portray um, in this case, you know, this animal portrays quite a lot of awareness. You would say she's probably pretty conscious and her ability to do that, like for gorillas, I mean, they're lower primates, so to speak, but they're like next to humans. They're the next. Well, person. that's what's so like kind of creepy about this too, is like, oh, like how, I don't know. Like that we, I mean, obviously we know a lot about certain species, but it's like, maybe they're actually just as smart as we are like you Pretty, know like you got to think i mean she's been trained and taught like she had an education so you could think okay maybe an educated right. gorilla is as smart well it's about access to information right yeah i mean she's got google she probably had a phone <laughs> yeah <know>? seriously <laughs> <laughs> she calls her other gorilla friends and she's doing like she's naked titty TikToks. snapchat with them like sending news <laughs> how does that work isn't she always new yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she's just, Why did you sound so into it? <laughs> news, you know? She's just sending bare news until she she, so she can't get that, that face lock. Uh, <laughs> she's trying to get the face ID to work, and she's all upset and shit because her brother can still open it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Are you saying all gorillas look alike? <laughs> uh, they're pretty it's similar really looking. Rude. They are pretty <laughs> similar wow. looking. Okay. So well, that's the biggest. message from Coco, you know, just like, you know, treat Earth better. And uh, Earth is, you know, we got to be happy and and all that. So <laughs> thanks, Coco, for the message. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll see how things go. Yeah. You know, I still remember learning about her. Like, I found this video recently and it just reminded me because like, I find her so fascinating. I remember like learning about her on my first, like in a first year neuroscience course. And we were talking, like the whole course was about animal communication Oh. And we actually had two professors. It was one of the weirdest course ever, but very cool. But you never had a course with two profs. There was two profs that showed up. Like, it was a goddamn show. Like, we're a fucking co-host and host. Interesting. They both would show up. And they're both, like, full-fledged professors. Not just, like, you know, me, like, a PhD doing, you know, early professor stuff. I'm talking, like, highly high career professors showing up and they did like a team lecture and they would like play off of each other one of the coolest lectures i ever experienced Interesting. i don't even know how they did that or how they could afford that or yeah. why the university would let that the point is it was amazing i remember it to this day coco came up they talked about like bees communicating and whales and fucking dolphins and like all of the above like how they communicate so that's so cool I was actually watching the Magic School Bus the other day, <laughs> and uh, they talked about how ants use yeah. pheromones to communicate. Goddamn right. <laughs> See, Magic School Bus, who needs a fucking Seriously? professor or yeah. a course? You know, we all have our different ways of learning. You know, I'd be lying <laughs> if I told you I didn't watch at least like a half dozen episodes of Magic School Bus this past year. Oh, my God. I've it's definitely so watched good. a handful. Sometimes you just tune in, man. And uh, Yeah, like if I want to know how a freaking car engine works, like... The pheromone episode, though. I remember that, though. Yeah, so actually a lot of animals will communicate with pheromones. But you kind of it's kind of fascinating how smart ants are for how small they are. And, yeah. again, it comes back to that awareness thing. Like, what's going on there, you know? There's mm -hmm. some kind of spark in that machine, right? Yeah, that they're just, like, driven to do certain things. Yeah, and, and that they, yeah, it's, like, built into them. 